Hi Leos, hi my kings and queens. Welcome back to Dream Tarot. I'm here to do your next 48 reading. If this resonates with you at any time, please make sure you give me a big fat thumbs up. Comment a moon down below for Dream Tarot and subscribe to my channel for your next 48 coming out in a couple of days, guys. Um, yeah, keep in mind that this is a general reading. It's not personal. Something that I may say that doesn't resonate with your story could resonate with another Leo story. So, you know, share the love, okay? And just know that it's not always about you, Leo, even in your season. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, guys, so don't shoot the messenger. If things don't apply, let it fly. If it does resonate, which it should, and you want to book a personal, all the information is in the description box. My social media is in the description box. My store is in the description box. I'm wearing some of the pieces today from my store um my candles are back in stock if you're interested in that that'll be the first link in the description box so let's just jump right into your reading leo all right spirit give me some advice for leos for the next 48 okay anything else okay there we go all right so your first message your first message says heart is the new balls okay <laughs> It said, how did testicles get so hyped up as the power center of the world? The heart, my friend, has always been more powerful than those two delicate, dangly things. Check in with your heart. Put your hands over that giant thumping muscle and ask it straight up how it would run your day if it was given a chance. Then give it the chance, okay? So some of you guys need to really open up that heart chakra and live, live your life and your season with that heart chakra, okay? This says, know the difference between shame and guilt, okay? Guilt equals I did something bad. Shame equals I am something bad. Spend today identifying guilt and shame. If guilt comes up, find a way to make amends. Shame is a devil though. Kick it in a dick. Okay, so stop feeling bad for things. Like, I feel like a lot of you Leos are feeling bad for making decisions. And you keep trying to justify it to like either your friends or your family or even to yourself. Yeah, like you made a decision because you wanted to. It's your fucking season. You're you're being selfish for once, Leo, and you feel guilty. Like you stand strong in your decision when you make it, but then you kick yourself in the ass like a little bit after you and you think about it all day. You stress yourself out. Stand firm in your decision. It's okay to be a little selfish, okay? Especially with people who are not you know, sacrificing their lives for you and just live in that and stop feeling so, um, stop feeling so shamed about doing something that's going to make you happy or saying no to things that don't make you happy. Okay. It's okay. Like for real, it's okay. All right, let's get into your reading. Yeah. Kevin's heart is playing by J. Cole. <laughs> you really need to open that heart chakra, Leo. I don't know what it is. I don't know if you're not allowing people to show you love. Or I don't know if you're just kind of being distant. You're not showing love yourself, but you really need to open that heart chakra. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's going on with my Leos, my lovely Leos. Happy birthday, by the way, if I didn't say it already. I think I did. No, I didn't. Happy birthday to my kings and my queens, my Leos, my lovely Leos, the kings and queens of the Zodiac. Happy birthday to you guys, you sexy humans. Okay, so let's get into it. Let's see what's going on with my Leos. What's going on with my Leos? For the next 48 hours all right you have the page of cups here what else so you are going to be in your feelings <laughs> okay what is going on with you you know what you're acting like leo the ace of pentacles on the bottom of the deck okay interesting all right before i tell you what you're acting like you could be dealing with the scorpio pisces cancer uh, aries leo as yourself sagittarius or an aquarius gemini um libra you are definitely acting like an air sign it's like you're gonna be in your feelings but you don't want to this is a big burden for you it's too much for you to carry or okay so i'm immediately getting with the four swords you're not talking to someone that you really really want to speak to during this time during your season you want to spend your birthday with this person or you just want to spend your birthday season with this person or fuck your birthday you just want to spend time with this person you're not talking to them you refuse to talk to them and you really do want to talk to this person you feel like you guys are better than that but right now you're not talking to them what's the page of cups give me the page of cups for my leo my leos okay leo Hold on, Leo. I'm like, should I put the camera down here? I'm acting like a Leo right now. All right, Knight of Pentacles is here. And we have the King of Cups. So it could be a Scorpio Pisces Cancer for sure. Or this could just be you trying to master your emotions, which is not bad. Everybody should be a master of their emotions. But I feel like you're purposely hiding your emotions from someone. And you're being slow to open up to this person about how you feel. 
What's the Knight of Pentacles? There's a reason behind it, okay? So I'm not blaming you, but I feel like you are purposely hiding your feelings from someone. What's the Knight of Pentacles? Why are they why are they why are they doing this? Three of Wands, okay? You're trying to decide if it's worth it to do this to, to open up to this person. What else? Knight of Pentacles? You're trying to decide, is it is it worth it? Is it worth it? Like, I don't know. You're also trying to figure this other person out and see what's going on with them. You're trying to see if this person even wants a second chance with you. First of all, Leo, without even reading the cards, say I didn't even do this shit, you know, for you guys. This person definitely wants a second chance with you, for sure. I feel like you want a second chance with this person too, or you're trying to change your... Okay, I feel like... I won't even say you want a second chance. I feel like you still... Your heart still burns for this person, okay? But... You're also in your new age, Leo. This is your season. This is your new year, okay? And new year is a new age means judgment card, which is like a new you. New year, new me, okay? It's literally your new year. It's a new you. You're trying to approach the situation differently than you would have done um, when before your birthday came. You're changing. You're shifting. You feel the change within you, and you're trying to stay true to that. But it's it's hard with this person, okay? It's hard not to think about this person. What's the King of Cups? strength card that's your energy leo and you're really 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 fighting the urges to express your emotions to this person or to come clean i'm hearing come clean i feel like i feel like you just want to tell this person how you feel but you're you're fighting that what else four of cups so you're you know and it bothers you you know what i'm saying because you do want to express it to this person but you feel like you know i'm just gonna hold it in but it, some part of that um it hurts you to hold it in the chariot you just want to move forward so some of you guys feel like you physically cannot tell this person how you feel because this person could use it against you and i think that's why you're being so tough okay i'll say that so this is a burden for you to carry what's the ten of ten of wands what's the ten of wands here three of pentacles Oh my God, you do not want to express yourself to this person. You don't want to talk to this person. You don't want to work things out because you feel like that's going to bring emotions out of you. And you really are, I won't say emotionless because you're not emotionless. You just don't want to be in your emotions about this person. You're tired of it. You're t you've been a, in your emotions about this person so many times. It's like, it's, it's old. It's old to you now. Like, okay, what's new? What else? Five of Wands, it's always some bullshit with this person. You open up to them. You always feel like when you open up to this person, they always, there's always conflict that comes after and you always regret it. So you're like, why would I do that again? You're always like, what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Like, you know, you're like, fuck, man. What's the Five of Wands? Who is this person, yo, that got Leo panties in a bunch? <laughs> okay sorry all right nine of pentacles is here so you're gonna withhold you're just gonna wait you want to wait for the perfect opportunity to express yourself or to even speak to this person you feel like now is not the time so you're just waiting you're also distracting yourself you're trying to distract yourself keep yourself busy um you're also in your creative energy right now so you could be doing a lot of writing a lot of drawing painting you're doing something creative you could even be playing video games i don't know where i'm getting that but playing video games can be creative in a sense i guess you're doing something that evokes your mind that because when okay it's like the arts but it's also more than arts it's like something that's going to distract you from thinking about this person so it's something creative you can even be cooking but i don't really get cooking i get more like i don't know i'm getting video games so some of y'all are playing video games is it has to do with things you're at home the four of wands so you're doing this at home because you're you might be home most of the time so you you could even be watching your favorite shows you're like really you're like looking through netflix to see like what what having you watch you're really trying to distract yourself from this what's the three of pentacles four of pentacles but you're holding this grudge or you can't you can't let go of this person you're you're trying so hard but you can't you're trying everything but you can't you know why you can't leo i'm gonna tell you why because you do need to have this conversation with this person all right four of swords so you've been staying to yourself also feel like you're not feeling your friends right now. Like you don't want to see your friends. They keep calling you. They keep asking you to hang out and shit. You're like, oh, I'm not really interested. Like you're you're kind of being very like much so a loner. You're not acting like yourself, Leo, for real. Eight of Swords in reverse. People keep wanting to tend to you and help you and ask you what's going on. You're like, you guys can never understand what I'm going through. So I don't want to talk to you guys about it. You can also feel, ugh, I'm not going to say that. 
it's just about your friends something about your friends leo like if i look you straight in your eyes right now some of your friends you are thinking like why am i hanging out with these people they can't help me and not that you just need your friends to help you, but you feel like you can always solve you. You can always help solve your friends' problems or be there for your friends. They cannot be there for you the way that you need them. So you're like, why am I even whatever? Like that's not nice, but I think that's what you're really thinking. What else? I don't want to say it because it's not nice, but you know. Yeah, it it has to do with your friends at Three of Cups, right? So you're staying away from your friends right now. You can also feel like you're all like everybody around you is very immature and you feel like you're on a different level, like as far as maturity so that could be a reason why you don't want to see your friends but they keep insisting and you're like no believe me i'm good okay <laughs> let's get your last words leo and then we're gonna move on to your homeboy homegirl okay because i am curious All right, last words for Leo. Make sure that I'm not going to fuck up the camera because it is plugged in right now. Okay. Where's my phone? Let's see something. Okay. All right, last words for Leo before we move on to their homeboy, homegirl. Oh, come on. Last words for Leo before we move on to their homeboy, homegirl, please. Last words, last words for Leo. Give me some last words, spirit. One more, one more, one more. Thank you. Bottom of the deck says, hiding my feelings. That's you. I told you. I told you you're doing that. You are hiding your feelings from this person right now. You know, you are, you are, you are. You can't help yourself. You do this because this person makes you angry, okay? They make you angry, point blank, period, you know, and you're so tired of it. This person could be October Libra or October Scorpio. Something significant could have happened in October. Something significant could happen this October between you guys. So keep that in mind. Even though this person gets on your nerves, you're not going to let this person go or you don't want to let this person go. Okay? You still hold this person very dear in your heart. This person wasn't even your type to begin with, but they stole your heart somehow, okay? So that's the person we're talking about. Yeah, this person's fine as fuck, but I feel like when you first met this person, you didn't even think they were all that, but now you really do, okay? <laughs> this could also be you, Leo. Let's not, let's, this is your energy, so you could just be looking finer than shit. You could be looking so fine right now, and everybody, all eyes are on you. You could have um, just got your hair done, sexy haircut, sexy hairstyle. This could be your person as well, but I'm, I'm feeling like this could be you. Your hair looks really nice. You get a lot of compliments lately because you just switched it up. And yeah, you and this person are experiencing a breakup right now or just, you know, separation. All right, so let's move on to your homeboy, homegirl. Spirit, give me some cards, please, for Leo's homeboy, homegirl. All right, some way is playing right now. So you are making a person feel some type of way. If you don't, if you never heard that saying before, it just means that you're making this person feel weird. Okay, because they're not used to you acting the way that you are towards them. That's what some type of way means, okay? All right, let's see. Let's see what's... Give me some energy, please, or whatever's going on with Leo's homeboy, homegirl for the next 48. Spirit, give me some cards. Let's see. The full card could be done with Aquarius. What else? Okay. The Tower. Okay. The Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. Bottom of the deck is the page of swords. Somebody is watching you very heavily right now. You might be like, no, they're not. No, they're not. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Could be done with the Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Cap. Okay. Let's see. What's the full card? Six of Wands. Okay. Somebody wants to take a risk to come towards you because they feel like they could have a victory. But what else though? Because I don't feel like this person's that confident. I really don't yeah <laughs> okay i'm sorry so this person feels like they can have a victory but on the other hand is eight of wands right it's also like someone's getting the, someone to do their dirty work so they're not the one making the risk they're just making a risk by telling their friends to reach out to you so someone's friend could have reached out to you or someone is like sending signals that is not them so it's like i know this person i okay this person could be a confident person naturally but i don't feel like this person was that confident right and it shows because the Eight of Wands. So someone's like trying to communicate with you, but they're also sending someone else to do their dirty work or to, to communicate with you or say that they want communication with you. Like 
they're putting a like a messenger in between. Six of Wands, please. I feel like somebody's gonna communicate with you if you're waiting on communication though. Somebody is because they feel like they could have get what they want from this. This is coming um slower than usual, the Knight of Pentacles. So this person's taking their time. So they're not as confident as they come off to be. So if somebody hits you up, somebody's gonna hit you up very confident. And you're gonna be like, oh, they're so confident. No, it took a lot for this person to get there. So just know that. Six of Wands, please. Ten of Swords. This person is very hurt right now. They probably could be hurt too because you guys aren't speaking or something happened where they hurt you, you hurt them. But they want this situation to go on to a stronger chemistry or just stronger connection with the magician. They are manifesting you back, speaking it into existence here. They just feel like it's going to be a lot of drama. Someone is hurt over you though, Leo. If you're hurt over this person, they're definitely hurt over you as well. They're taking it harder than what you may see, okay? Eight of Wands the empress somebody loves your booty for sure <laughs> for sure somebody loves you leo okay that's why they want to reach out to you so badly strength card they love you they want to communicate with you they try to fight it they cannot fight it like somebody can't help but to just want to think about you or reach out to you so that's coming towards you i have the seven of swords on the bottom of the deck I have to say this person could be in a relationship or, okay, if they're not in a relationship, they're dating someone who that person thinks that they have only eyes for them. No, this person actually has eyes for you, Leo, too. This is only for some of you guys. It's, it, it's not everybody's story. But I'm also getting like the Seven of Swords, a sneaky vibe. So your person could literally be entertaining other people and someone thinks that like, whoever they're entertaining thinks that like they're so into them, this person is more interested in you. I'm not saying that to boost your ego. I'm not saying that, like, I'm just saying what's coming up to me right now, okay? I mean, that's not... All right, whatever. <laughs> tower card, please. What's the tower? Also, too, Leo, you're into tarot, right? Your person might be into spirituality tarot. Their person could be cross-watching, not for... So whoever... Say you're dealing with Aquarius, because that keeps coming up, or Scorpio, or whatever. Their person is like not watching their okay. Their person who they could be with that thinks that they're so head over heels over them. That person is also watching your readings. Like, you know, how you search up Leo tarot reading and you might have found me, right? Their person is searching up Leo tarot readings. Like, the person that they're dealing with, too, the, the person who thinks that they're so head over heels over them, they're they're like watching you, too. Like, somebody's obsessed with you, too. Anyway, tower card. What is going on, Leo? <laughs> All right, Eight of Swords is here and Eight of Pentacles. Mm. Let me tell you something. This person, when things came crashing down with the tower, they were not okay. And they want to work on things so badly with you, but they are not okay. I'm sorry to have this third party situation going on, but someone like when you ended things with them, they look for someone else to take care of them, to heal them from the pain that they felt for you. Does that make sense? If you know that you're in a third party, Leo, and I'm, I'm not gonna mention it anymore after this, but this is what's coming to me. And we have the three of cups on the bottom of the deck, so I must be onto the money, okay? If you know that your person puts you in a third party, the third party is literally nurturing, taking care of your person right now, because they're hurt over you. Like, that's disgusting, okay? So your person is like literally the Ten of Swords over you. And the other person that they were dealing with is like taking care of them, nurturing them, not knowing that this person's heartbroken over you. What's Eight of Swords? Clarify that. This is messy as fuck, I gotta say. So this could be a, okay, King of Wands, right? So this this could be an Aries Leo Sag that you're dealing with, or it doesn't have to be any of those signs. It's just someone who is very attractive, a go-getter, a leader, but this person has not been feeling like themselves, and they're using the third party to take care of them. I feel like you would take care of them very well too, but since you pulled back from them, they're very depressed or very sad right now. They have this other person trying to Fill, in, fill, fill your shoes in, but it's not working. This person's, like, not working. All right, what's the Eight of Pentacles? This is so messy, Leo. I don't even know what the hell's going on. 
the lovers okay so if somebody wants to work things out with you they only have eyes for you they want to work things out they could be entertaining this third party but they're only doing that because you're not in a picture right now this person wants to work things out with you they feel like you know they'll they will be able to do that seven of pentacles please nine of swords hmm you could have stopped talking to someone because you found out that they got someone pregnant, Leo, and it's haunting them, okay? But that's not everybody's story. It could just be that this person just, like, you know, felt like you felt like this person didn't give you your word. They strung you along with the Seven of Pentacles, and it's haunting them that they did that because they lost out on something great. But some of you guys, it is the pregnancy story. What else? This person sits and thinks about this very often. They're not happy either. So if you're not if you're not feeling happy, this person is like mirroring you with the Nine of Swords. Oops, picking up cards I don't need to pick up. The Judgment card. This person is wondering, will you ever forgive them from this? They even ask God for forgiveness from this because I feel like this person like okay, this is so messy, Leo. And I'm sorry to keep saying that, but I just wasn't expecting this. You know, you guys are my first reading today. I've been really busy. And this is so crazy, but I'm really getting that someone like got someone pregnant that they didn't want to get pregnant. And I'm so sorry to say that too, because that's not my place. But I'm just saying what's coming to me. Like, I'm sorry, man. I feel I feel bad reading for you right now, Leo. <laughs> I feel bad. I feel bad. All right. What is here? The Page of Pentacles. Okay, so looks like somebody's going to be reaching out to you very soon and also being very honest about how they feel or being straightforward about it, okay? Somebody wants to invest in you. They don't really want to invest in whoever this other person is. I don't know, bro. I just want to let this go, okay? All right, we're going to move forward because I just want to let this go. I'm going to have to go deeper in this in the extended, but right now, I'm not feeling this energy. It's very messy. It's very messy, bro. And I need a clear head today. I don't know. All right, let's get the last words from this person. I'm going to take this for the extended for you guys. All right, let's see. Give me the last words for Leo's homeboy, homegirl, please. Last words for Leo's homeboy, homegirl. All right, so I might... I was supposed to do Pisces and Capricorn and Aqua today. I might just do Aqua because I see some of you guys are dealing with Aqua. And I don't think I'll be able to do all four because i have so much stuff to do today but i might just do aquarius after this for those of you who are dealing with an aquarius I feel like some of you guys are dealing with a pisces as well so i might try to squeeze pisces in we'll see okay all right last words for leo's homeboy homegirl give me some cards yeah yeah yep i think i'm gonna do Aqu aquarius aqua Bottom deck says February Pisces or Aquarius. So maybe I need to squeeze in Pisces and Aquarius. But you have you are dealing with these one of these, okay? Or this person could have this, you know, in their chart very heavily. Something could happen in February. But I'm gonna try to I'm gonna do Aqua first, I guess, and then I'll do Pisces. I'll squeeze it in today if I I'm I'm just gonna do it for you guys, okay? I'm not letting this go. So this person's not letting you go either, okay? Could be dealing with a January Capricorn or an Aquarius, okay? Something significant could have happened in January. We got Aquaman, Aquawoman, definitely dealing with an Aquarius, okay? What else is here? Ride or die. This person feels like you are their ride or die. They feel like they're 10 toes down. This person feels like you and them are meant to be. They also could feel like you're a spoiled brat or they know that they're a spoiled brat. You could be dealing with a spoiled brat, Okay. Yeah, August Leo Virgo. You could be dealing with the August Leo Virgo. You could be an August Leo, okay? This person could have these significantly in their chart. Something significant could be happening this month between you and this person. What else is here? Vacation, okay? So you and this person definitely took a vacation together. Are y'all going to be? All right, so I'm going to take this to the standard, guys. I'm so sorry if I was acting like a spoiled brat myself and like saying, oh my God, this is so messy. It is though, like, I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> I don't have this excitement in my life right now, but I'm going to go to extend it for you guys. Um, just remember to thumbs up the reading if it was your reading or if it resonated. Comment on the moon down below for Dream Tarot and subscribe to my channel for your next 48 coming out in a couple of days. If you want a personal, that information is in the description box. If you want to follow me to extend it, that will be in the description box as well for you if you want to follow me there. And if you want to shop my store, you want to shop any of the pieces that I'm wearing today, any of my candles, you can't see my candles. I have one burning right here. 
all of that is gonna be the first link in the description box to my store if you're interested i love you guys leo happy birthday so sorry that i complained so much in your reading today um it's not really complaining it's just like oh my god <laughs> i wasn't expecting this but i'm glad that we did you guys first i'm gonna do your extended and i'm gonna go ahead and do aquarius since that was what was coming out mostly and then i'm going to i promise you um pisces will be put out today i don't know if it's gonna be put out at the same time as you and aquarius but i will get it out today if tonight if anything i love you guys and i'll speak to you soon all right bye bye